Young athletes and a lot young at heart may be out there training in the heat, but doctors say that you need to prepare before you work up a sweat. Brooke Katz in the Fort Worth studio tonight for us. Brooke? Yeah, and Doug, this holds true for really all parents, even if your kids are just outside playing in the heat. Experts say keeping kids healthy starts with hydration. A lot of people do only think about hydration once they start to sweat and once they start to kind of feel fatigued. We spoke with Brittany Worley, a performance dietitian with Children's Health. How much water should kids be drinking if they're spending any time outdoors in this heat? Typically, the minimum amount that we will recommend is divide your body weight in pounds by two, and that's your ounces goal for the day. But she says to remember that is just a baseline. According to the CDC, a study on heat related illness from 1999 to 2010 found that almost all deaths happen between May and September, with the highest numbers reported in July. Texas, one of three states accounting for 43% of all heat related deaths. Symptoms to look out for? Headache, dizziness, um, sometimes a little bit of trouble with coordination. You could be dealing with dehydration or heat exhaustion. If you notice those symptoms in your child, you need to act fast. Get them to someplace cool and shaded, give them water or a sports drink, put a wet towel against their skin, and ease cramps with stretching. If not treated, heat exhaustion can develop into heat stroke, a medical emergency. You may stop sweating. You may notice your skin is really flushed. Your heart rate stays elevated. Those are all signs that uh, that we're kind of in that more severe end. A few other signs of heat stroke: confusion or disorientation, and a severe headache. In that case, you do need to call 911 and seek medical treatment. Doug.